Dats Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing the new Winmore Steve Beaton darts. Uh, this is the 24 gram version. You can also get them in 22 grams and the 90% tungsten and the retail for £38.99. So let's check them out. So the darts come in the new Winmore packaging. Uh, it's just a slim cardboard box. Got my window showing the darts and then little smaller ones where the stems are showing. Inside you got a foam insert holding the contents and the darts are fitted into a circular point protector. It's aluminium and plastic. Very uh, striking looking dart. And you've got a set of the Prism Alpha standard shape flights. Uh, nice design on them. And you've also got a set of the new Prism Force uh, stems. They look to be medium. So that's what you get in the pack. The darts are fitted with a silver point, and as you can see, it's a front tapered uh, style of barrel, uh, chunky at the front, and then gradually gets thinner towards the rear. And quite a striking looking uh, dart with the contrast between the gold and the blue. Uh, it's got a slightly tapered nose, like a bull nose. And a nice bit of grip there on the front with those thin rings. And then as you get around the middle, you've got a kind of a, a, a micro style grip. Um, it's fairly grippy. And then on the rear section, it goes right to the end of the barrel, the grip. It's kind of a, a thin ring grip. So there's a fair bit of grip all along the barrel. Um, I'd probably say it's about a high-medium grip. But I'm quite happy with the feel of it there, for me as a front gripper. I think Steve Beaton actually grips the stem, so... Um, I don't know how people throw it from gripping the stem like, but there you go. A uh, nice thing with these prism force stems is they've got some grooves on the bottom, so if you like to grip the stem, quite a good stem for that. And there's the prism alpha standard shape flights, slightly transparent on the blue sections. Nice design on the flight. The darts are fitted with a 26mm silver point, there's a slight bull nose to the barrel and the front section is 5.3mm and then you've got some rings and grooves of 4.9mm then a smooth section of 5mm and then some more rings and grooves of 4.9mm then around the middle you've got this micro style grip with the blue nitride coating that's 8.2mm and then the rest of the barrel is made of the thin ring grip which is 15mm the length is 43.3mm millimeters and the width is 7.4 millimeters. Twenty four point zero eight grams. Twenty four point zero nine grams. And twenty four point zero nine. And the full setup is 25.84 grams. With nothing attached, the balance is towards the front, and with the supplied setup, it's very slightly behind the center point. And this is the balance with medium in between short, extra short stems and standard flights. Obviously it's front heavy as a front gripper, I don't mind that. 
and it's got a slightly chunky feel at the front of course but uh, again I don't mind that chunky feeling and a fair bit of grip there so it's not bad at all from the front uh, maybe could have done with a slightly longer point but it wasn't too bad so I'll try in the middle now so I'm kind of on that micro style grip and obviously the barrel gets a little bit thinner around the middle but not a bad feel to that grip I think it was just slightly grippy on the front ring where I was probably suit any style of grip but it just depends if you like that kind of front weighted feel of a dart anyway so you already already know whether you like that style but there's a nice feel to it so I'll try on the rear now so the rear grip feels just probably a little bit grippier than the other two parts where I've been gripping and obviously the barrel gets thinner again but feels a little bit more comfortable in the fingers It's nice that the grip goes right to the end of the barrel, so if you like to have your grip right there. Oh, it feels a little bit more front weighted again because obviously you've got the front of the barrel, the length of it, right in the front there. But for me, it's not flying too bad, so it should be okay for natural rear grippers. So that's the Windmore Steve Beaton dart. Um, like I said before, it's quite a nice striking looking dart with the blue and gold. It contrasts quite nicely together. Um, obviously, it's a front weighted dart, so if you like that kind of dart anyway, you should be happy with it. Uh, I would say for a front gripper, obviously it's thicker at the front, but the balance was quite nice there from the front. Uh, not too bad from the middle, I think I got a little bit more spin from the middle but I think it felt a little bit more comfortable in the fingers from the uh, rear but holding it on the rear it was kind of a little bit more front heavy and kind of like looped a little bit more for me but um, I'm not a natural rear grip thrower anyway but like I said it's nice it's got the grip right to the end of the barrel and I think that's probably just a little bit more grippy on that rear section uh, so quite a, a nice dart if you already like a front weighted style um, should be fine for any kind of uh, grip and it's nice that there's quite a lot of grip um, along the barrel so should be enough for most people I would imagine so that's the end of the review thanks for watching